This is Captain Kyle Fearson, United States Marine Corps. Does anyone copy? I repeat, this is Captain Kyle Pearson. Does anyone copy? Dossier you requested, Miss Carlisle. Board members have been calling all morning. The stocks dropped another 6% after the analyst downgrade. Yeah, I know. I read the report. Increased competition in the contracting industry. I'm taking care of it. Ari, it's Saturday. I plan to enjoy my weekend. Hold my calls. I'll let you know. It seems you're saying that your recent discovery could potentially solve the world's energy and power crises. Saving the planet, ending war. This news sounds a bit too good to be true. The field of nanotechnology has always been alluring for this very reason. Possibilities far exceed anything that could be achieved by conventional means. Time has come when we will create a nano generator no bigger than your watch that can power an entire city. If you don't mind, in layman's terms, what are these possibilities of which you speak? We can control devices and materials at the atomic and molecular level, allowing us Incredible, truly. Thank you so much, Doctor, for sharing with us the inspiring news of your groundbreaking research and developments. Again, Dr. Alan K. Tan, esteemed Nobel laureate who has served as professor of material science at Cambridge University. Thank you. Thank you. Colonel? Yes, Lillian. You ready to earn your early retirement? Take me back to... The plan is in motion. The Abu Sayyaf leader has taken the bait and is in Hong Kong. And we've been monitoring his actions and we believe that he will be in Mindanao with the scientist in the next few hours. As soon as the American military find out, they will of course initiate a rescue. And that'll be your team's cue to move in discreetly. 
destroy everything. Save the chip, of course. Daniela, how's the book? Have you ever read a book, Cabrera? Pick a card. Seaver. Captain Fearson. Do you have any queens? No, but I had your sister last night. Go fish. Attention! Thank you, Captain Fearson. At ease, gentlemen. Dr. Alan Kaitan, a leading American researcher, has been kidnapped by Abu Sayyaf rebels out of Mindanao. Their leader is this man, Bin Malik Ahmed. Intel confirms that Kaitan's work can be used to produce miniaturized nuclear weapons. I don't think I need to tell you the ramifications of this. This technology consists of two components, a prototype microchip and the specs for its use, which are only housed on a flash drive to our understanding. Your mission is to acquire both. Any questions? What about the scientist, sir? His liberation is secondary protocol. OK, gentlemen, pack it up. We leave it 0400. Details of the targets are on CD for review. Sir. Yes, Captain. Are there are no SEAL teams in the area, sir. Orders came directly from DOD. Our team was selected due to the proximity to the targets because of the urgency of this matter. Yes, sir. Is your team not capable, Captain? We are prepared and ready. Lillian, why are you calling on this line? Well, hello, Mr. Secretary. It's nice to speak to you, too. Have you chosen your disposable team? I'll take that as a yes. Well, I'm sorry, but it's time to send them in. My men are standing by to eradicate all targets and secure the chip. And as promised, the media will convey to the public that the technology died with the heroics of your soldiers in the attack. I'll contact you shortly with the exact location. We are here, Doctor. Let us go meet your new team. Get ahead. Take it, Cabrera. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 like a tree. Got one, got five. All targets have been removed. Copy, got one. Satellite shows no other activity. Cover six. Got one on the ground, ready to move. Copy. Breach the east perimeter. Copy. You will be happy to see I have picked up some of your lab equipment. Hmm? Allahu Akbar. You are now in the service of Allah. Hmm? 
you will work throughout the night with our scientists and you will show them how to read your blueprints. Huh? <laughs> if you and your lovely assistant want to leave, you will cooperate. Huh? Stay alert. Radio's open. Ten four. Pearson, you clear? Hold there, Cabrera. How many? Half dozen at most. Don't be nervous, buddy. I'll be back in five. I've heard that before. Put your hands where I can see them. Here in the mirror. I need the microchip and the flash drive. I'm not the enemy. Please! She's innocent. I I've got what you need. Slowly. On my way.
Reaper on the wall up the left. Damn, moving in on your three. Yes, Lillian. Did you clean up your mess yet? Almost. I'm really disappointed to hear that. Well, I've taken out all but the special ops team leader. And a contingency plan in case... You know, Kane, in my book, Plan B stands for bullshit. Have you at least acquired intel on Kaitan's assistant? I'm working on it. Work harder. What about the soldier? What's his name? Um, Fearson. Captain Kyle Fearson. Yeah. Lucky for you, I can make finding Captain Fearson easier. You just concentrate on getting the chip. Your best lead is the girl. You want to find the chip? You find out where she is. How did this happen, huh? Sir, our hardware showed that the blueprints were uploaded. And the chip. Gone. How <laughs> luck. Weaponry is useless if there is no chip. Do you understand? We captured video surveillance. Find him. Okay. 
Tarung atas, diri bumi. Tarung. Ikau. Ikau kah? Matai ya. Matai ya. Ikau. Matai ya. No, Salaman. Salaman. Okay. 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 This is Captain Kyle Pearson, United States Marine Corps. Does anyone copy? Again, this is Captain Kyle Pearson, United States Marine Corps. Does anyone copy? This is Captain Pearson, United States Marine Corps. Copy. Again, this is Captain Kyle Pearson, United States Marine Corps. Does anyone copy? Yes, Captain Pearson. Copy. This is Private Kerwin, sir. What are your coordinates? 
Mindanao, approximately 20 clicks southeast of Target. You're along the west end of the shoreline. We can arrange for evacuation 50 kilometers off the coast at dawn. Copy. What's the status of your mission? All dead. Something went wrong. The intel we received was corrupted. OK. What's the current situation? Hostile. Private? No, sir. I'll fly. All right. I was contacted. Team leader's still alive. I gave him the pickup coordinates. I see. Well, you've done your country great service, son. I won't forget this. Okay, ladies, listen up. Kid came through. Always have a backup plan. Our local recruits here almost fucked the whole thing up. I'll take care of it. Goddamn take care of it. I'm gonna give everybody another chance tomorrow morning. You got it? Umanda kayo. Alistayo. You hear me? Bye. Mikit anak kau ini yang pengita atau bote. Nas bar karena lagi tuan di tu. Di mana tu kan? Oh, karena di mana tu? Oh, nak lagi di tu. Di mana di mana? Kalau kau ni kita. Anak mana tu? Berita. So you're fierce, huh? Where's Major Burke? Just far from here. How do you use, Captain? 
This spot used to be an old World War II lookout. Now they use it for weather surveillance. I like coming up here, get away from everything. Privacy, you know. All right, let's go inside. We gotta talk. That's Sergeant Wyland there. So, Captain, based on your final transmission and the reports that we obtained, your mission was a failure. The intel we received was compromised. Compromised? How do you figure? It was an ambush, sir. Well, it's possible that the intel was tainted. We could look into that. Look into it. My entire team is dead. Well, these things happen, Captain. You and your team should be well aware of the dangers that come with your duty, especially at this level. Sir. However, it seems pretty clear to me that neither did you eliminate all your targets, nor did you retrieve the desired objective. I obtained the flash drive with the tech specs. The microchip was nowhere to be found, and as for the targets, we eliminated all that were present. Ben Malik Ambat was not there. This is before the ambush, sir. What about the woman? Did you see her? Nita Santos. No, sir. No. Did you at any time acquire any information as to the whereabouts of Miss Santos or the microchip? No, sir. No. Nothing. Hell of a job, Captain. Hell of a job. Can I help you, friend? You look far from home. Yeah, just visiting. Mm. Looking for a friend that actually lives in town. Well, if you're looking for someone, you have to visit Tom Mugan. Yeah, we'll see. His tentacles is in everything around here. He owns a little resort nearby and uh, very popular with tourists like yourself. Thanks for the info, my friend. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, hey, hey, you know what? Uh, I'm going that way. And give you a lift. Uh, oh, is this nice to us? That's Filipino hospitality for you, man. Have you?
Who is this friend you're looking for out here? Isn't that nice here? Do you understand? <laughs> American military? Still not talking, huh? Hey, I'm the barangay captain here. It's my business to ask questions. For example, if I see a tall, white man traveling alone, not much on his back, I get questions. It's a tough job. How do you handle the pressure? Listen. You and I both know that you're not here to see a fan. Oh my god. Are you psychic? What's your mouth, man? Wait a minute. So let me guess, Captain's training was a test of questions and answers, but you just sat back and did everything with your ESP. Yeah, wow. Well, you. Watch it! Guess you didn't see that coming, huh? Get up. Why? As I predict, I'm going to shoot you. We're in the middle of nowhere. The resort is one kilometer away. You can handle it. Okay. Thank you. Sir, sir. Have a good one. Ladies. Looking for Tom again? Who's looking? Trust me. So what's your business, American? I'm looking for a woman. And I hear he's the man. How you find this place? Where are you from? Gentlemen, we do want to be rude with all many questions. Give him the VIP treatment. looking for a girl. We got plenty of girls. I was told you know a lot of people. I'm looking for a woman named Nita Santos. Nita Santos? There are a lot of people looking for Nita Santos these days. So you do know her. I find a sense of humor, you see? Everyone in Cebu knows me. And everyone knows I hate Americans. Now, I was told if anyone came looking for Nita Santos, I should put a bullet in their neck now. You are not just anyone, are you?
I don't know. Where is it? Uh, please. Please don't kill me. I'm hurt. She was spotted in a village. About 50 kilometers of here. Yeah, what village? That is I. Over in your head, America. I'm going to kill you. So negative. Always been a supporter and friend of Abu Sayyaf. I have received word that uh, you have the American. This is very good. Uh, the American? Slippery piece of shit, that one. You let him get away. No, I tried. From the looks of you, it appears that he was the better man, no? I have not wasted your time. I know where he is. And you think that helps me? I told him the girl was last spotted in a village 50 kilometers south. That is where we were going. Makakatawa ka. You led him. You didn't tell him what village. Now you can find him both in the same way. You are a pathetic little girl that talks too much. attempt to rescue an American scientist, Dr. Alan Kaitan, occurred when U.S. forces discovered Kaitan was not actually working against his will, but in fact aiding Abu Sayyaf. The rogue terrorist group appears to have been experimenting with handheld nuclear devices. What is such a Kaitan's dangerous plans place? And technology died with him in the raid. In a dramatic turn of events, it now also seems that the lone surviving Marine, Captain Kyle Pearson, was working as a mole for Abu Sayyaf. He is now on the run with Kaitan's assistant, Nita Santos. Local authorities warn these two should be considered armed and dangerous. Any information that leads to the capture of these international fugitives will be rewarded. Anything else? No, thanks. Actually, maybe you can tell me how to get to Talisay. Just down the road. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to take this. Okay. Don't work too hard. Hmm. That was quick. I saw the news. You're turning my men into terrorists now? Yeah, well, somebody needs to take the fall for this little misstep, don't they? Would you prefer it to be you, Mr. Secretary? You know, this whole situation with Captain Pearson might actually help us, because everybody's so completely focused on him. It leaves us to get on with our work in peace, right? Do we have the chip yet? No, but I'm pretty sure I know who has it. I was I? Yeah, hardly. This is going to be a much easier exchange. You're going to be a very rich man, Henry. 
I'll be in touch, okay? I'm worried about you breaking this story. I don't want you to sell out to the highest bidder. Are you kidding? With a lead like this? I can go for a reporter to real journalist. One, your best option. Family, I'm trusting you. Look, if what Nika says is true, I'm gonna get a big promotion. You can count on it. Okay, please. Hey, guys. Sorry to interrupt. Couldn't help it over here. You're enlightening conversation. That's my gun. I'm not thank you. You guys know each other? Okay, shut up. Where's the girl? You mean my daughter? Asshole. <laughs> told me you had the chip. He made me promise to help you before he died. Do you see them? How many? We gotta hide! One. I see. Everyone hides in the gun. Myself and I. What's the big deal? I don't totally buy it. I shouldn't trust you. Haven't you seen the news? They're calling me a traitor. They're framing me just like they're framing you. They want us dead. Now I need you, and I need that chip to clear my name. Clear both our names. Here go. Can 
you guys on time right now? It's an island not far from here where we can hide out and stick at night. We may be at the door tomorrow morning. But the cousin there can help us. Jesus. What's the plan? Go island hopping? We've gotta get back to Cebu. No. Everyone's looking for us in Cebu. Yeah, and there's only one road in and out of this town. That obviously uh, it's all over. We'll take that boat. Oh, yeah, I don't feel good about this. Yeah, some the news cats got you all crazy, huh? Thinking about that big cash reward. You know, Let me ask you something. Were you going to turn us into Abu Sayyaf for the Americans? No, man. I hope he can swim. That's my cousin. Something me and ask him. How'd you get out of there? But I... Well, it wasn't so hard after. Plus, I'm pretty sure I blend in with the locals better than you do. You still don't get it, do you? I was doing my job. Then why didn't you save the doctor? An American. It wasn't our primary objective. Where'd they go? Well, unless you're a complete fool, you can tell me everything you know. Money? Oh, yeah. There's something about Mindoro. Start collecting some wood for a fire. 
What do we need the pie for? We're hungry. Mm. Mm. I needed this. I finally feel like my brain's working again. Well, does that mean more questions? Actually, yes. Who are these mercenaries? Where do they come from? Military contractors. Private armies hired by big corporations. Why do they want to kill their own men? They're not my men. They don't answer to our government. They don't adhere to our military code. Gita, are you okay? The device that we created is just a prototype. The chip is literally the first and the only one. We knew our research could be used for nuclear weapons. But Dr. Kaitan refused. That's why he contacted Yates in the first place. Yates? Peter Yates. His old college friend. A British journalist who flew over to Hong Kong to interview him the day all of this began. It's late. Just get some sleep. We got an early morning. I'm gonna go check this place out. See if it's not safe enough for us to get some shut eye. His whole life has been all about taking care of me. I'm always got. What about your mom? I only know her through his stories and memories. She died when I was born. She takes a trip to Manila once a month, visit her grave and bring her fresh flowers. I do it now too. Tell her my problems. Where I could feel a presence. Well, it sounds to me like you had a good family. Let me guess, you're back again, empty-handed. Look, we know where he's going. Yeah, yeah, we know where he's going. Let's just finish it, okay? It's bad enough already. You want to sleep, Sergeant? It's Yates. Got time over here to talk to him? No. He's kidnapped after his interview. Well, that's it then. We get the chip to Yancey, he can rent us. It's way back in London. We need to get to him. You're getting ahead of yourself, man. Yeah. We have to get the chip before we get to Yates, don't we? Give it to you already. You mean it's going to be What are you talking about? What makes you think that's a decoy? What the hell did you do that for? Don't play games, Nita. <sighs> Sorry about Dr. Kaitan. Sounds like he was a good man. He was.
And I know everything that's being said about you. Please, Mr. Yates, hear me out. I was very close to Alan, and I put my heart and soul into our work. What they're saying about me isn't true. I was kidnapped just as he was. Mr. Yates, this is Captain Kyle Pierce of the United States Marine Corps. Why the hell would we be calling you if we were working with the terrorists? I'm listening. You're being set up. There's something much bigger going on here. Your help to uncover the truth. Please. What can I do to help? You can break our story. You'll need proof of your innocence. What is this chip they keep talking about? Do you have it? Soldiers reports. He said somewhere are Americans. Works. We'll call when we can. Draw them away from Luiso. I'm already there. I'm gonna base. Don't seem to be close, neither of us can kill. Looking for two people. Look at me. Two people. Big white guy. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? No. Big white guy, where'd he go? I know.
Take it easy. It's right here. That was easy. They're going to kill her. Wanted her dead, they would have done it already. Then why? She knows where the chip is. That's what this is all about. The chip? You asshole! You have it! You have it! You have the chip! Not my daughter, okay? The chip you gave me was fake. Why is she smarter than that? She was testing me. Why wouldn't she tell me then? You think she don't trust her own father? She got you because she loves you. Don't you get that? She's protecting you. Sorry about that. So what was that back there? Why was she going to the hospital? risk you stealing off with the car? Very funny. Sorry I asked. The worst night of my life was watching my wife die in a hospital. You just gained a daughter that night, didn't you? Yes. I'm gonna get her back. Promise. If they torture her? Oh, Jesus. Dr. I got it. I'm gonna be so stupid. She told me right where it was. Did she? Uh, my mother's grave. Your wife's grave site. What? In Manila? If that's where the grave is, that's where she had the chip. We got to get to Manila. We got to get to Manila. First, we gotta get a plane. Me? How do we get one of those? Oh no. Steal one? Got a better idea? Magandang araw sa'yo. Eh, may kaibigan ako ang Morgana rito. Gusto mong magpakuha ng pictures sa aeroplano mo. Bigyan ka raw ng 40 dollars. Okay ba sa'yo? Howdy! Ha! Sira ulo talaga ng mga turista, no? Sa akin po. 40 dollars. Oh! Talaga? Oo! Okay! Oh, mister, this is so awesome! Thank you so 
much, sir. I've always wanted to send one of these things. Wow. I mean, look at you with your yes. outfit. Wow. Wow. Taco, take the picture. This is great. I love cockpits. I've never been in one. Oh, man, this is so great. Real cockpit. There's two steering wheels. Taco, there's two steering wheels. And all these little knobs, like buttons, and needles thing. Wow. There's 10 bucks soda. $10? $10. We have inside. You? Yeah. yeah. You got it. Oh. Give me that soda. Madis, right? I don't know. Oh, what? You've never flown a plane? Just mess with you. So, you have flown? Yeah. What, twice? Twice? Okay, once. Oh, Jesus. So speed up. Seatbelt! Oh. my daughter. Taco, she want me to go. You're going to kill her. You want that on your conscience? That you left her to die? That's what you wanted anyway. I'll take care of this myself. You can't take on on this one. You think you know everything because of your mind's dream? I tell you what, you don't know anything. You don't know what it feels like to fight for your child. I'll kill all of them. <sighs> we'll all be together.
this was your beloved doctor. After we finish, I understand you have a very big family. Huh? I will make sure that my men kill each and every one of them. If you do not take them to that chair. And as for your father himself, I will torture and kill him personally. Look at me! Don't worry. He's a cousin. Seriously, dude, how many cousins do you have? And please tell me that guy is not part of the point. Hey! Back! Hi, <laughs> How's he get this stuff? War hero. Very much connected. Not really good with that. This is sacrilegious. Sick. Do not speak to me of religion. in it.
Saving your ass, don't I? Just a waste the whole damn flip. It's like this snappy. You got a long way to London. Long way. Oh, you and your terrorist friends will be very happy. Terrorists. Terrorists is the word for your political leaders. Not me. I'm a soldier. We're not much for debating. Why don't you put that gun down? Show me what you've got. Why don't I shoot you first? And take my chin out of your dead hands. Allow didn't have to earn my paycheck. Y'all are doing all my work for me. Doing work for you? Selling out my country? I don't think so. Shit, son. You are so dead wrong. Even our friend Ben Malik there, he knew more than you do. He may have been delusional, but at least he believed in what he was doing. That very passionate belief is what allowed him to be manipulated so easily. You told Ben Malik where we were going? Please. Listen. Your friend, the good doctor, had rejected Warburton's offer to fund his research. What were they expected to do? You see, our government doesn't just walk in and force somebody to turn over their research, even if it is the right thing to do. Well, America's got to keep up appearances, see, keep up our public image. So you tip off some terrorists, hoping that you'll get it back after they steal it? You risk putting the chip 
in terrorist hands. Then you kill your own men, my men, just to make a nice cover up? Yeah, well, I'm sorry about the hard facts there, Captain. It wasn't long ago I was in your shoes. Uh, so that's how you justify killing United States Marines? You're a coward! You finished? Let me alert you to something, Captain Fearson. We'd lose everything if we let this technology fall into enemy hands. People talk about world peace. Give me a break. You don't get world peace from a renewable energy source. You get it from manufacturing the most powerful weapons in the world and scaring the rest of the world into submission. Now stop whining this bullshit and hand me the jet. And maybe I'll let the rest of you live. I'm waiting! Soldier! Sir! Is he okay? Trusted you. No. He can trust one thing. What? I would never throw away a perfectly good replica. Okay. May we begin? Absolutely. So this is going to the hands of MI6, along with the tape of our interview and Dr. Kaitan. Yes, this is promised. It's amazing, something so small can create change of such great magnitude. No idea. Shall we? We're here with Captain Kyle Fearson and scientist Nita Santos to discuss one of the greatest cover-ups of all time. I'm sorry, ma'am, it just isn't functional. There's nothing with ghost files. It's a fake. That's what you're telling me. I I'm sorry, ma'am, there's nothing I can do. There's anything you can tell me right now that comes before us. Actually, Miss Carlisle, there's something. An email was sent to our DC office and it was uploaded across the board. There's a video attachment. I, I think you should see this. My office now. Hey there. If you're watching this video, that means you've recently acquired your very own precious nano nuclear microchip. And yes, unfortunately for you, it is a replica. And yes, you have made it through today. Now don't worry. I'm given the opportunity to do that soon. Because I'm coming for you. Have a nice day.
shine 